heading towards uh, quantitative analysis, which is the core area in FRM. Uh, I will explain these uh, mathematical statistical model in uh, in detail in brief and then we will go for detailed discussion one by one in this session. We'll start our discussion with time value of money. Time value of money is a very important concept when it comes to investments and risk management. We use two terms. One is the present value and one is future value. Present value and future values are very important and even the time value of money concept is very important. How it works is, uh, suppose an investment bank or investment banker approach you uh, that you they have a very good product and if you spend one million dollar in five years it will become five million dollars so you are quite excited because it's going to multiply five times but at the same time you should know that uh, money loses its value over the passage of time suppose when our parents were young if you sit with them they will tell you that when we when they were young house was cheaper land was cheaper and now if we see now uh, there is a massive increase in market dynamics and uh, same maybe our parents can buy in one million big area of land now we are unable to buy a big area of land in the same amount so money loses its value with the passage of time this is the concept of time value of money so how we uh, we study this uh, time value of money is uh, by using a calculator we try to see what is the n i y we see p v present value future value and what will be the payment over the period of time so i will teach you how to use the financial calculator to calculate n p v or uh, you can calculate uh, future value present and value and related other components will calculate the present value of a single sum present value of multiple sums uh, there are changes every year in terms of uh, uh, returns so varying cash flows how to manage and what is the concept of nvt when there is an annual regular payment and what is perpetuity what what is ordinary nvt what is nvt due this all concepts i will explain you probability is very interesting um, because we want to predict uh, by quantifying so probability methods are very useful we we see that what is the chance of happening always it's between 0 to 100 or 1 or 0 to 1 or 0 percent to 100 percent because when we do a toss we have 50 50 chances that the head will come or a tail will come so uh, this is what is the basic in terms of probability of happening not happening then we try to calculate the expected value by multiplying the probability with the amounts so uh, probability is really important concepts we see subjective probabilities we see numerical probabilities how we work how we calculate how we apply in our day-to-day -day work this is a very important discussion we discuss basic statistics statistics is the sister of mathematics uh, there is a history for this subject um, uh, a lot of uh, time uh, it is used for gambling but now we are using it for better predicting and uh, for casting our results so we discuss what is inferior statistics what is descriptive statistics what is different types qualitative quantitative what is the concept of mean median mode uh, average middle value most recurring value what is the concept of uh, harmonic mean geometric mean where we use these means practically what are the scenarios how we scale how we make frequency distribution and tables this is all into basic statistics 
then we talk about distributions we have normal distribution it's like a bell shaped distribution center of this you have a mean sometimes it tends to the right side uh, we can say this is one tailed sometime two tailed sometime flat there are different scenarios in terms of distribution when normal distribution become abnormal distribution and of course uh, when we see with samples it's a different distribution when we see a larger population it's different so z testing and t testings are also a uh, kind of hypothesis which help us in order to have uh, our hypothesis uh, is accurate or incorrect so we have rejection we have acceptance how he does this how to see a table t tables e tables this is what i am going to explain in today discussion then we have bayesian analysis how it works hypothesis testing and confidence intervals confidence interval means that how much we are confident about the population generally we take 1% 5% 10% and what are the statistics values associated and how it will change the curves or a bell shape um, this is i will explain you shortly correlations and uh, copulas so correlation co is a latin word means two relation of two variables so if i am making a portfolio i need to know that if i am buying the same directional uh, stocks or i'm uh, going opposite for example uh, suppose if i buy a stock of at nt and then i buy another stock for t mobile so if both goes up both goes down down same time so it will not be an efficient portfolio because in a portfolio we should have different kind of option with different risk and returns so correlation determines the relation of two variables how much dependent they are uh, we take um, when they go in the same direction we say they are positively correlated if they absolutely go in the same direction we say perfectly correlated if slightly then we say correlated positively correlated and on the opposite side this is negatively correlated means t mobile is going up and maybe bank of america is going down so this will be a uh, negatively correlated so being a portfolio managers you have to understand the concept of correlation correlation is very practically used and you should know the ample knowledge about its usage where are the upper lines and lower lines so it will go minus 1 2 plus ones mean perfectly negatively correlated and perfectly positively correlated then we have linear regression uh, regression is a word from regress so we take try to take a independent variable a dependent variable constants in variable and we try to put them into an equation called least square method y is equal to a plus bx how it works what is the mechanism how we do regress for one variable for multiple variables what are different scenarios i am going to explain it shortly a linear regression with multiple multiple regressor and uh, hypothesis testing and confidence intervals with multiple regression so we'll take z testing t testing and we'll take the least square methods together modeling and forecasting trends what are the different methods models and how we but they can predict better by using these methods i will explain we'll see what are the characterizing of the cycles we have ma ar and models we'll see the volatilities and correlations for risk managers and risk management so uh, volatility is the change fluctuation so sometime market is more volatile your security is less volatile so we introduce this concept of beta alpha gamma how it works this is we will discuss and in the last we'll see the simulation methods what are those methods how they work and how practical it is to learn this is what is the scope of discussion so now i will start the detailed discussion and uh, the first topic is the time value of money concepts